advise, feedback on any sort of paperwork um, for grant applications, uh, summaries, protocols, patient information sheets, consent forms, all of the sort of paperwork that needs to be sent off for grant applications or to be given out to patients or members of the public. When we look at the paperwork, we comment on the comprehension, do we understand it, is it laid out right, is it inviting to people to, to look at uh, and take notice of so that they become involved in trials and that, or perhaps go home and tell friends and relatives about it so they can get involved in it. Um, and I have to say, they are, they are generally very well received and they do make some changes that because obviously it benefits us as, as well as the researcher. Um, so what sort of things would we be a little bit concerned about? It, it would be things, for instance, if they say they wanted a rheumatology patient to lie in an MRI scanner for 20 minutes without moving, could you do it as a rheumatology patient? Would it perhaps be best if you did two 10-minute sessions? Can you actually go to the hospital or your local clinic to have three blood tests over the next three weeks, or is it best all done in one? It's all that sort of thing. Because obviously the researchers need the information that they want, but is it feasible for the patients to actually do it? So it, it's coming to a compromise, which a lot of researchers don't quite understand because they don't have the condition as to whether we can do what, what they want us to do. Uh, we actually had one um, application where the researcher was asked to involve the RUG group at various stages of the research and he had to have uh, written proof in his grant application that he actually had involved us. So we are actually getting recognised quite a bit now and I think that's going to start happening more and more. Um, the unit um, applied to Arthritis Research UK for two separate fundings of five million pounds each and were invited to the two site visits so that we could support them and the Arthritis UK knew that we were there and we were supporting them. I've also been videoed, like today, but um, and it was for a competition and it was a competition for um, how researchers react with the public or patients. That competition is up in June so we'll hear then as to whether we've won or not. But we are on YouTube, which is a first for me, and I've been told if it goes viral, lots of money. Brilliant. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. I've also been videoed um, for a training aid or a standard of interview techniques that researchers can use um, when how best to approach the patient or the members of the public, the sort of questions to ask so that they get all the information that they want from the patient or that member of the public. And that is now being used in quite a few different countries. So you see, you join RUG and you become world famous. <laughs>